Hello YouTube, my name is Isabella and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR challenge thing that I set for myself. In the month of June I told myself that I have to read 8 of 10 books that I put on a list that were backlisted, ones that I've had on my shelf for over a year, ones that I keep passing up for new, new books, the shiny new release. I told myself I have to read at least 8 of these because I'm getting pretty bad now at reading books that I've had on my shelf for a while. And if I failed, I was to give away the ones that I did not read. Because if you don't know this about me, I'm terrible with TBRs. I will say that I'm going to read these books next, and I never do it. Because I'm a huge mood reader, I am terrible at sticking to something like that. I want to talk kind of about the process, if, if I succeeded, and... I just kind of want to talk about the experience. Now, I'm not going to go through these in order of when I read them, and I will have reviews for all of them in a wrap-up somewhere so I can leave a link to my wrap-ups. In no particular order, I read Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Persuasion by Jane Austen, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, The Selection by Kira Cass, Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier, and finally The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. The two that I also had on this list but didn't manage to get to were On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher and 1984 by George Orwell. I wish I could have done a little bit better. I really wish that I had gotten to either of these ones. All in all, this this was this experimental type thing. I would count as a success, especially for my first time ever challenging myself like this. I'm kind of a person who needs a kick in the pants if I want to read something, but it's a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So this challenge really helped me with a couple books, especially A Clockwork Orange. And even Persuasion by Jane Austen. That being said, the pressure I put on myself makes me anxious and then I don't end up reading as much as I would like to because I made myself anxious about the pressure. So it's just not the smartest. Like, it's not that crazy high stakes. It was eight books in three months. Mind you, I did read some other books. I managed to find a new all-time favorite book in The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. I love this book to pieces. I'm really glad with the series I started slash continued. I have been meaning to read The Wrath and the Dawn forever, but I kind of put the brakes on it because I didn't have the sequel and I knew I was going to want to read it basically right away, which is ironic because I read it a month ago and I still have not picked up The Rose and the Dagger. It made me very excited for um, the Falling Kingdom series. I read Rebel Springs and I thought that was a solid entry in the... Falling Kingdom's World. I also had a really difficult time getting through All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, and I predict that this would have been a DNF if it wasn't for the fact that I had to read this. And so I'm just, I am pleased that I did this. I just think if I were ever to do this again, I would have to tweak it a little bit. But then also I couldn't tweak it too much because I'm someone who needs a challenge to do it, especially with the TBR, because again, I'm notorious for not sticking to my TBRs. So I think I answered this before, but something I was wondering was, was this thing worth it for me? And I'm going to tend, I am going to say it was worth it to challenge myself with this TBR. I got through some books that I really needed a little push to get through. I picked up series that I've been putting off for a long time, and this was mostly a positive experience. The stress that I've inadvertently put on myself because I'm an idiot and I procrastinate. But again, that pressure was my fault and if I was more organized, it wouldn't be as bad. The last thing I was kind of thinking before I wrap this all up was, would I do this again? And currently I would say no, just because I'm very busy right now and the things that I'm reading, I actually want to be reading them like right this very second. So not right now, but I think in the future, if I have a little bit more wiggle room in my schedule, I do think I will do this again. So I thought this was a very interesting experiment. I'm very glad that I got through it. 
And I know this is my experiment, so I could have been like, even if I didn't finish it, be like, well, whatever, I'm gonna keep these books anyway, but I wanted to keep myself honest. And I guess I took the threat seriously enough that I managed to get all of the eight books done, especially with all the shiny new books that I have acquired and really want to get to. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on TBRs and if they work for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!